Are you someone who loves the idea of a clean, organized, and visually stunning workspace on your desktop but feel overwhelmed by the sheer number of tools and endless customization videos out there? Every guide seems to recommend a different tool, making it hard to know where to start or which ones are truly worth your time. Well, let me simplify things for you. As an experienced customizer, I've spent countless hours testing and refining setups to find the very best tools out there. In this video, I'm sharing my top picks for Windows customization for 2025, carefully categorized to help you enhance every aspect of your system. From stunning wallpapers that set the perfect tone, to advanced taskbar tools that bring style and functionality, to full system customization applications that give you complete control, this list has it all. Every tool featured here has been thoroughly tested in my other videos, so you know they deliver results. For every tool, we will look on the performance impact, the versatility of the features, and the user experience. Now let's start with the ground essential of any desktop setup, the background which plays a big role in the feel of the setup. In general, we pretty much have two options here, live wallpapers or static wallpapers. While static wallpapers are a lot simpler, they don't have the unique feeling of a live wallpaper with animations that can tell a whole story. If you are interested in live wallpapers, we have found two really good apps for your needs, Wallpaper Engine and Lively Wallpaper. First, let's take a look at Wallpaper Engine, which is available on Steam, but unfortunately it costs $4, but it's worth every penny. After your installation, you can open this menu where you can find some default wallpapers. However, when you go on the search menu, you can choose from thousands of different wallpapers made by the community that are all easy to install within the app. If this isn't enough for you already, you can even make your own live wallpapers with clocks and everything. Another big pro is also that this app is greatly optimized and really stable. While gaming, it even turns off the safe performance. Now, Lively on the other hand is free, while also offering a lot of functionalities, but in my opinion, it's not on the same level. Then Wallpaper Engine. When you open this app, you also have some default wallpapers that are decent. However, if you want some different stuff, it is much more difficult to install than in the other app because you need the wallpapers from the internet as video files. For example, you can download a video like this. Now you need to set the video as a wallpaper like shown here. As you can see, the process is not that hard, but also not that intuitive like in Wallpaper Engine, so I would choose this app only if you don't want to pay the $4. Also, the optimization isn't just that great, like it doesn't have a gaming mode. Still, the app works great and is a good choice for live wallpapers. However, in general, it's important to understand that no matter how good the app is, the performance will always be worse than with static wallpapers, especially when we talk about battery live on laptops. As a laptop user, myself, if I feel this impact significantly, so keep that in mind when choosing a live wallpaper. For static wallpapers, you of course also have a lot more options, and there are many great sites where you can download tons of pictures, like free pics, which I often use. Also, static wallpapers don't have to be boring, for example, you can create different layers like I did it with this setup. Also, a big part of many customization setups is customizing the taskbar. You can also find many apps for this like Rounded Taskbar or Nexus Dock or similar apps, but in my experience, most of these apps are buggy and unstable or just hard to use, especially for beginners. For me, the only real options here are Translucent Taskbar and Windwalk. Windwalk is a really well-optimized application which is extremely powerful. Because of this, I will talk about this tool separately later in the video, but as you can see here, you can create a really beachful taskbar with it. Now to get to Translucent Taskbar, you can find this tool in the Microsoft Store and install it easily from there. Once installed, it turns your taskbar invisible, which makes your taskbar a lot cleaner in my opinion. The great thing here is that it doesn't need much resources and pretty much never crashes. It also works for almost any PC, unlike for example Rounded Taskbar, which is a buggy mess. This app just makes a big difference while you not even notice that you have it installed. Now speaking of other aspects of your setup like widgets or Windows menus, we need to make a decision. You can either install Rainmeter, which needs a lot of mods to run everything you want, or you can continue with a view other apps that have more integrated options but partially also need some mods, for example Windhawk, Seal and UI or BeWidgets. In my experience, Rainmeter always served me well and also has some great optimization features like it turns off while gaming like Wallpaper Engine and it runs very stable in most cases. Of course, this also depends on how stable the mods are you installed. Now let's talk more about Rainmeter because it's a really widely used application and it has a lot to offer. Rainmeter actually is just an application that can read certain files you installed called Rainmeter skins or mods. Rainmeter takes those files and ensures their functionality and allows you to place these on your desktop. So now let me show you my favorite skins I often install with Rainmeter, while some are more powerful than others. First, let's start with some small changes. My first tip for any Rainmeter setup is the Mon skin. It gives you a minimalistic clock with the date all in a clean and minimalist design that integrates seamlessly with various desktop themes. While it doesn't need much power to run, making it great for low spec systems, it's not the easiest skin to customize. You can pretty much only change the colors, and for more advanced stuff you have to edit the files. 
Despite this, Monskin is a reliable choice if you're looking for a straightforward way to display the time on your PC. So for me, it's a must for almost any desktop setup. Now, another great skin is Mi Power. While the change it provides seems little, it still can give a significant upgrade to your setup. It provides key features like runtime stats and a convenient shutdown button, making your PC a bit easier to manage. While the skin is lightweight and doesn't demand many resources, its features are limited and there isn't much room for customization. Still, its simplicity and ease of use make it a handy addition, especially for those who value utility. The Monterey skin takes inspiration from macOS and delivers a modern, frosted glass aesthetic with vibrant accents. It's an excellent choice for those who want their desktop to look sleek while also displaying important information like system performance. Contrary to the other rain meter skins, this app has its own settings which make it really easy to use. However, it's not without its flaws. Some users may encounter bugs with widget scaling or positioning, and it's slightly more resource intensive than other options. Still, the Monterey skin is a visually stunning way to add both style and functionality to your setup. Besides those rather small and lightweight skins, you can also go for a bit more complex skins that have more to offer. Now one of these applications is the Drop Top 4 skin, which is incredible versatile. You can easily get it with the link in the description. I personally really like this mod as it not only looks clean and aesthetic, but also adds some more functions to the desktop. For example, you can quickly access apps like YouTube or information like the weather forecast and even detailed battery information. With all of the available extensions, you can further apps you like to this top bar, for example, a color app and much more. Further, with this top bar, you can even sort your games after genres so you can simplify your game access. All of these features are available with just one simple installation and the setup is really simple. Another tool I like to recommend is the Jax Core Skin, which offers some really great widgets that are easy to customize with just one application. For example, you can install a music widget with a music visualizer which look really great on any desktop. Additionally, you also get a clock widget here which is more versatile than the Mon Skin with a lot more customization options. But this app is not all widgets, for example, you can also modify some Windows menu with it. However, I personally don't find these mods intuitive and easy to use. Besides that, there is one particular unique feature, the overlayer. With this tweak, you have the option to have a multi-layered wallpaper, so you can hide a part of a widget like here with this clock. Unfortunately, this feature is a bit buggy, and sometimes the widgets don't stay in their layer, or they are stuck behind the wallpaper. Performance-wise, this is more demanding than these simple skins, but I haven't experienced any lags with this until now. So if you like some more complex widgets that still are easy to customize, then this app is made for you. Another really popular tool is Windhawk, which is in some what's similar to Raymeter. In my opinion, Windhawk has a better UI and therefore a better user experience. Also, the performance feels better with most of the skins there as they use almost no RAM and start up pretty fast. Also, the installation process is more intuitive in most cases. However, with this tool, you can only change things like your taskbar or start menu, but you can place any widgets which you should take into consideration. Now, let's talk a bit about my favorite skins for this app. First, let's talk about the taskbar styler we talked about before. This tool works really well and you have a lot of different themes to choose from, so the customization options are a lot better here than with the other tools like Translucent TV. No matter what theme you will choose, you will have a great looking taskbar that works real smoothly and with almost no performance drawback. Now besides the taskbar, you can also change some Windows menus here, like the start menu and the notification center, but other than with Jackscore, these tools work seamlessly here and are really easy to use and have very little performance drawback. With this tool, you can, for example, turn your Windows menus transparent so you can build some really clean setups with this. Also different to Rainmeter, you can also change some functionalities of your system here. For example, I like to use a mod for more easy volume control. This mod allows you to change the volume by scrolling with your mouse on the taskbar, which is a lot faster than doing the same with the function keys. This is just a little change, but it can save a lot of time. There are even more such changes here, like you can display the sizes of folders in the file explorer. In my opinion, this makes Windhawk a real gem and even better than Rainmeter. Besides this app, there are also some other tools for widgets and menus that I would call all-in-one tools because they don't need any skins at all. For example, I tested out a tool called Sealand UI which lets you customize your taskbar and gives you a top bar and some multitasking features all with one installation. A tool like this is very easy to set up because you don't need any additional installations. Unfortunately, Sealand UI has some significant and performance issues and is also pretty unstable. For example, it doesn't start with your PC or it randomly crashes. Besides those significant issues, the concept is really great and the looks are also not disappointing, however, because of the performance trouble. I can recommend you this tool if you are looking for some experimental tools. I hope that I could offer you some tools that fit your style. 
In general, all of the tools I recommended here are pretty commonly used and therefore also run pretty stable and shouldn't be too hard to set up. Also visit our website to learn more about customization and find a setup for your liking.